Hi there, well, welcome back to Simon Says. My name's Simon. Have you ever found mold in your home? Well, today I'm gonna to show you a simple home assistant integration that allows you to measure the chance of mold forming in your own home with a few simple sensors. So mold is something that you really want to try and avoid in your home because first of all it looks pretty ugly if it's all over the walls and secondly it can have really bad health issues and we know all about this in New Zealand. It's a highly humid environment, we have a lot of rain and we have a huge amount of mold problems in our homes. So if we have a look at our home assistant currently we can see that the mold index is sitting at 40%, 46%. And that's because it's a nice sunny day and the relative humidity is sitting nice and low today, 55%. We've got 23 degrees outside. So that's why we've got a low risk at the moment. But if we had a look at our um, graph, I haven't had all my sensors running, so that's why it isn't filling this graph out. But you can see here, that at um, 7 o'clock last night it was at 83%. So you can see how much it can vary between the day and night time. So if we go back here to the, uh, the mold indicator, so it's a really simple process. It basically needs um, three sensors. You require an indoor temperature sensor, a humidity sensor, and an outdoor temperature sensor. So I'm going to use my um, indoor, I've got a switch bot sensor that does indoor temperature and humidity, and then I've got an outdoor weather station that measures the temperature outside. So the key thing is here, all we need to do is we take the simple YAML code, we copy that, and we paste it into our studio code server, which is what I use to edit my YAML. So the key thing here is that we're adding another sensor platform. So you need to put it within this current sensor group. So you'll see here I've got my weather station and I'm going to pull my outdoor temperature from there. Um, and then I've also got my system monitor running there. So we're going to add it in down the bottom here as a platform and we're going to call it the mold indicator. So the indoor temperature sensor is my meter plus. That's the switch pot. My indoor humidity sensor is the meter plus humidity and my outdoor is the WPS which is my outdoor weather station and the calibration factor of mine is 1.98 so if we go back here we need to calculate our calibration factor now this is quite easy although you do need something to measure the surface tension or surface temperature of your walls in the coldest spot of that room. So I use an infrared temperature sensor. I point it around the room, find the lowest temperature, and then I ran this calculation. So it's temperature indoor, temperature outdoor, and then divided by temperature critical point over temperature outdoor. And that gives you that factor. So as you can see, I've now keyed in my factor there, and that is now giving me my mold indicator. So this is awesome. I now know when there's a risk of mold. Now, how do we avoid mold? There's two factors that will control mold growth within your home. The first one is ventilation. So I can create an automation that will turn on a fan when the mold index goes, say, over 70%, which will then start ventilating the home. The other option is to boost the temperature. So I could turn on my heat pump, for example, to heat the room up if it goes over that percentage. So it's really easy. Off this indicator, I can base two automations which will now improve the temperature of my home. Anyway, that's all for now. Let me know what you think in the comments below and click like and subscribe to get more videos from my channel. Thanks for now. Have a great week. Bye then.